Hi dear diaper wearers. In this video I test the Rears Alpaca. From the manufacturer you have certainly heard or maybe even worn diapers themselves. He makes many different. On this channel I have already made several videos about it. Among them, for example, the Critter Caboose, one of the currently hottest ABDL diapers. But these are also interesting. As you can see from the outside, they were completely printed from start to finish, of course with motifs matching the name. These are held in comic style. On the side, the green stripes stand out, they are on the sides of the complete diaper and also on the side wings, on the side wings with additional colorful patterns, you'll see them in a moment. As with many ABDL diapers, reusable plastic adhesives are used. Therefore, there is a clear area in the front with a thicker film on it so that the adhesives stick. It is not different in design, but they just stuck the foil over the existing design. On the outside, it's foil. It's more of a matte, not so smooth foil, so it's not like the retro style diapers. If you prefer that, you can find a few alternatives in my other videos, for example, the NRU Playdays is a thinner diaper with four adhesives. Or the Junior Plus, but it only has one adhesive per side instead of two. Also the Abu Kushi feels similar to the old foil pampers, also has only one adhesive strip per side. Back to the alpaca, it's inconspicuously white on the inside and has a high leakage guard on the sides, as you'd expect for ABDL diapers, so you can make the absorbency better with inserts. I liked that the leakage protection automatically sets up without having to knead the diaper. So it's not pressed into the package as much as, say, the crinkles. With the newer crinkles, I had already said that in the video about how the leak guard sticks to the diaper. There you have to be careful, because it can leak so easily. I do not find so good, so it's nice that it is not so with the alpaca. Already when putting it on, it is noticeable that it is generously wide cut. This is also good leakage protection, the more material can absorb on the body, the less likely the diaper will leak. And it's sure to please those of you who like the feeling of being wrapped up thickly, whether it's a preference, or whether it gives you peace of mind. After all, you don't want to leak especially when it comes down to it, because you're out and about, for example, and don't have a chance to change at all. I see that as a positive thing. From the feeling you can be of a different opinion, some prefer thinner diapers, whether because you do not feel them so strongly, or only so that they are more inconspicuous. There are also alternatives for this. I didn't notice anything special about the adhesives, they are the usual size, as you can see there are two per side. They are easy to peel off and stick on, yet hold pretty tight. It's also no problem to detach the stickers and put them again. For example, if you accidentally stuck clumsy or want to make a fuller diaper later a little tighter, so that it fits well and remains tight. In the practical test, the alpaca did well, even when a lot went into the diaper, it did not leak, unless it fits poorly, for example, too loose. Then it can leak out at the legs even with such thick diapers, that's the case with all of them and can't be avoided. When she started dripping despite a good fit, she weighed about 1.7 kilograms. Not a record, but still a good average. Her weakness seems to be sitting. I also tried filling the diaper further while standing up once and rounded up to a whopping 2.7 kilograms. So you can put a lot more in if you can wear it standing up. At least towards the end this is important, in the beginning sitting is also no problem, but there it ran out at about 1.7 kilograms. An empty diaper weighs 225 grams, so you can tell it's a thicker one. The thinner ones are much lighter, some even less than 200 grams. How much does a diaper like this cost? Currently, a pack in the cheapest store is 25.90 euros and contains 12 pieces, so the price is 2.16 euros each. Even with this, it is in the midfield and I find this reasonable for the performance offered. Especially since it is also relatively elaborately printed, which should not be forgotten in the price. Such a complete print costs more, especially if it is still quite contrasty, than for example only the front with the adhesive surface to print. And after the experiences of the last time, you can even credit this manufacturer that there was no price increase for some time. Here you can see an older order of mine that I bought in June 2022. It's the same diaper and pack size for the same price. Unfortunately, that's not a given. I bought the Crinkles Astronaut in the same month for 19.90 euros per pack, now you pay 22.60 euros. Although this is already quite a decent increase, it goes much more extreme, as Abu has shown. The peak Abu is only an extreme example here, other diapers like the Little Kings are also very expensive, especially if you put the unit price in relation to the performance offered and compare that with others. Here, the alpaca cannot be criticized, 
It is significantly cheaper and offers not only an absorbent diaper for the money, but it is completely printed. Even that not only on the entire front, but also on the edges and side parts. Much more really does not go. The printed side wings and edges do not occur frequently, I had few such diapers in the test. It is more costly in production, you have more work and also have to pay more for the color. Many therefore seem to prefer to save that and print at most the front, or even just the front. Whereby I would like to say at this point, more does not automatically have to be better. I find discreetly printed diapers like the NRU Playdays also beautiful, there are fewer prints, but these are still high contrast and look high quality. Therefore, I do not want to put this as better, but only point out that this complete print including edges and sides is more elaborate, so for this a slightly higher price may well be justified. In some diapers in the comparison, the slightly wider crotch of the alpaca comes out well. However, depending on which one you put over it, you may not see it. There are a few diapers that are rather wider in cut, which are then usually those that are about the same width when you put them on top of each other. A crinkles, on the other hand, looks almost narrow again, relatively speaking. This diaper is thick, but not so wide in the crotch. It's about suction power and also the perceived thickness. If you want more inconspicuousness on the road, you might prefer to take a crinkles. It sucks a little less, but has less material. Or if you want maximum inconspicuousness, for example, a Tina slip. Here you should not forget that such diapers are full faster and you therefore need a way to change especially on the road. The alpaca you can also wear on the road, if you are not so important and you might wear a bodysuit over it anyway. Internally, I find it almost a bit too bad for that, because you cannot see the beautiful motifs then. In my opinion, it can be unreservedly recommended at home when inconspicuousness is not so important and you appreciate the good suction power. Be it when relaxing on the sofa, or for sleeping in bed. Has the alpaca convinced you? If you don't like it, you can find more videos of other diapers I've tested on the side. If you want to share, feel free to comment how you like this diaper. I hope you liked the video, then I would appreciate a thumbs up. You can also subscribe to my channel for free so you don't miss any new videos. See you on the next video.